Hello guys, welcome welcome to my first ever speedrunning tutorial. It's gonna be on characters you need for Plants for Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, Quest speedrunning. That's gonna be on characters you need, what character upgrades you should have, abilities you need, and movement that you need to know. Alright, so if we go into the customization booth, first you're gonna need Electropy. He is really good at clearing out waves really fast, and, uh, and he is faster than the average pea shooter in general and the abilities you're going to need for him are sombrero bean bomb and dark bean bomb uh, speed running is not the safest thing right now for the well quest speed running at least because an exploit was found that saves a lot of time but the moderators are still deciding as of writing this on let me check the date as of writing this on saturday november 18th 2023 the, the speed running moderators are working on this they're deciding if this these glitches are going to be banned or not but yeah i thought i'd do a movement tutorial so yeah anyways you're gonna need electropy the abilities i just said and then for character upgrades i like to have two reload upgrades and a speed upgrade because he's already faster than the average pea shooter but speed upgrades recommended as well because you, you cannot never go too fast in speed running come on party corn you're gonna need it doesn't matter what whether you have him ranked or not, you literally only use him once, but yes, party corn is used in the speedrun. If you do not have party corn, either commando corn or just any other corn, I don't know. I don't know the corns well enough. And next is toxic brains. For toxic brains, you're going to want the super multi ball, which you get when you buy the deluxe edition, which means if you don't have Z7 imp, then need to buy the deluxe edition so you can get z7 imp along with the super multi ball and then you're going to also want the character upgrade speed upgrade toxic upgrade and super meter upgrade which it yeah, makes them overpowered if you do not have toxic brains you can also substitute for electro brains and um the i'd recommend having speed upgrade damage upgrade and any overheat upgrade would be fine um but yeah that's it for the characters you'll need for speed running now on to movement we'll start off with bean jumping all right so so to bean jump you're just going to be want to be in hyper and then jump at one jump it gives you the most speed in the game and the clicks sound like Like that, if that makes any sense, but yeah, just hyper X L1 X really quickly. That's how to bean jump. And then with dark bean bomb, it's the same, I'll show you. Okay. There we go. Next up, you're gonna want to learn bean writing for uh, a few levels, I guess. Shut up, Bruni. You're gonna to wanna to learn how to Bro, shut up. Do, do that. It's just like, somewhat like bean jumping, but uh, no hyper. So, watch, I'll show you that again. You're gonna to want to go jump bean, and then don't jump again, just like that. I'm not very good at it, but that is how you do it. And you can also, yes, you can also do that with dark bean mom. See, I'll probably embarrass myself trying it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, now, toxic brains. There's a few things you need to know about toxic brains. Okay, number one is bunny hopping. Which, if you don't know how to bunny hop, it's just be on the floor. Press... R1, and then a hold jump, but don't hold forward. Hold no movement options. I'll show you that again. Hero kick while on the floor. Keep jumping. Hold no movement options. And you can do short jumps, high jumps, and also a different way to bunny hop. So if there's something you needed to jump over to save time, you jump a little bit, but not too high, and then kick. So like... See, I jumped and I still got the kick, but if you jump too high and do it, 
then you won't get any bunny hop momentum. And now, now I'll show you uh, something else you should know. It's kind of like movement, it's kind of just tech they need to know. So let me jump in the plant space, wait for the bosses to spawn. But yeah, hit the bo- so Toxic Brains get his to gets his Toxic Overload from punches. So hit the bosses until you get your Toxic Overload. And that was kind of a bad example, but if you sh throw your Super Multi Ball, then it does insane amounts of damage. But yeah, l let me try that again. So hit him until you get your Toxic Overload. Also, the Toxic Overload heals you, which is nice. It hits lots of damage. If you, I didn't hit my shots, but if you hit your shots, it actually does quite the insane amount of damage. But yeah, that is the entire tutorial for movement tech. And yeah, my next video, hopefully, will be on some of the quests.